Welcome, Trainters, to this wickedly blessed Hallowed Eve video of Pokemon Go. For tonight, we hunt the ghosts, the ghouls, and the ones who take you. Mega scary monsters, shiny, sparkly evils. The Halloween event has started in Pokemon Go, and it's time to get spoopy! So grab your garlic and Pokeballs too. It's time to hunt some spooky What is up, Trainters? Ludo here, back with another fabulous spoopy episode. It is the Halloween event, and we are getting spoopy. Out down at the fort, finally doing some hunts. Mega Gengar research. Spiritomb, shiny Spiritomb is available. Costume Pokemon, new costume Pokemon, shinies, and uh, Galarian Yamask. So many things. We have already gotten a shiny. Check it out. We are not even down to the fort yet. Like, like the me you just came from already did this. Does that make any sense? We got a shiny Gastly. We're not even down to the fort yet, and we got a shiny Gastly. Starting off the event right well here. I am happy. Pretty awesome. I'm happy with that. We don't need a bunch of these at all. We have a bunch of these already, but hey, shiny Gastly. Sweet. 972. Eh, eh. But hey, cool. First shiny, shiny ghastly. Hopefully we can get some more. So yeah, definitely not really the shiny that I'm trying to get at all. Tyler also already got his own shiny Gala or not Galarian, but just your mask. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. So hopefully that doesn't I don't need ghastly. So hopefully we can still Pull in something shiny. The event goes until November 2nd, I believe. Good long event. Can't wait. So many things going on. So let's get to it. Let's see if we can find some shinies, find some spooky, spooky ghost stuff, and have some Halloween y, hallowed, spooky, ghouly fountain. Let's get to it. All right. So, first thing on the evening's agenda look at this massive, spooky thing. Taking down a Mega Gengar raid. Pretty intense. Even with five people, we're still down in the 120 seconds. It's pretty, pretty intense. But, oh, there we go with our first team. Come in and just finish out the job here. It, it, it's interesting it throws in normal type only because it's, you know, ineffective to ghost, but still, it's silly. All right, there we go. It's finally down. There we go, Mega Gengar. Super spoopy, and there it is, yep. It has the costume. I was wondering if this was going to have the costume once it's done. So there we go. There's the Gengar with the costume too. I don't think these can be shiny. 60 Mega Gengar candies. That's cool. There we go. That thing's so cool. <laughs> 2037. I have no idea on the CPs. Let's see if we can catch this thing. Okay. Can you hold it? Because I can do this. That was only a great. Ooh. Ooh. That was bad. There we go, got it. All right, let's check out this costumed bad boy. Hey, not pretty bad. Not pretty bad for our first one. Uh, it's like one of the very few Final Evolution Pokemon that has a costume, so. That's pretty cool. All right, sweet. Let's see what other spooky, spooky ghoulish things we can find and do.
Okay, horrible lighting, but we come back because we just got a shiny drift loon. Super toots. Last time I got one of these was Go Fest of last last year. Long times ago. Shiny drift loon. Uh, there's a drift loon mystery catch ghost day coming up, so maybe not gonna get the shiny on that day. Who knows? Cool though. Shiny drift loon. Two shinies for tonight. Check that one. No. But I believe if we catch this one, finish off that. So spooky message on mask. We can finish Duskull not shiny, unfortunately. And then, uh, you know, fitting my light goes completely out. Let's see if we can find lighting down over here. But with that, we complete that. And we get another uh, mysterious encounter. Like a mask. A 411. Tyler, I think, just got a 420. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Words and things. Okay, so now we gotta move on, catch 10 dark. Eight nice throws and 108 Pokemon. So I believe that is the, I believe maybe that encounter is one of the spirit tombs. Because 108 has to do with the spirit tomb thing. And then uh, once we've completed that, two more dark types, we will complete those. So we'll see you back when we've completed those. Maybe with another shiny. All right, okay, so we have completed those tasks. Excuse me. And we also picked up a Catch 18 Ghost type Pokemon, which is a task that will give you a Spirit Tomb encounter. Can we get a shiny Spirit Tomb? No, not on the first try, but that's still really cool to see. As I was saying though, we have completed these. I have no idea what these encounters are. Probably like Ghastly's. Yeah. And then this other one. A Houndoor. And then with that, we finish out, and we can claim 50 mega uh, energy, gas of candies, nine nice throws of all four Pokemon, and catch 94 Pokemon. All right, well, with the 88, or the 108 only being halfway done, and 94 here, 31% uh, battery, we're gonna hop around to a couple more stops, see what we can find, but we're probably gonna see you back at home. All right, so we are back home from our spoopy hunt. We have a random 5k. I don't even think this is a 5k that we picked up tonight. But it's Toro. Unlike I expected, uh, I didn't think that we would actually catch uh, the 108 and the 94, but we did. We completed those, so we've got some. I have no idea what these encounters are. I have not looked at the cheat sheets. Oh, okay. Who would have been a shiny? Not. Gengar in costume. That can. I was not sure earlier when we were doing it if it can be shiny. And then this one's just experience. And then we get a encounter again. Ooh, a spirit tomb. See, I thought it was spirit tomb. That one could have been shiny too. But I really want that. It's really, it's really cool, like neon. This is like a neonish pink. And it's like a neonish blue. Okay, now we have to catch 40 ghost type, nine great throws and 49 Pokemon. Y'all better be making those spawns go crazy then. And then we've completed our uh, next part of the Mega Gengar. What do we get here? A Ghastly. Second one, a Hauntour. Hauntour, why do I say that? And then what is this, a Gengar? Hey, that's pretty cool, yeah. And because this one's only uh, 12, Oh, seven, it can still be used. Nah, it wouldn't be good to use, but it could have been used for the Great League. From there, we move on, claiming 50 more energy, candy again, Stardust. There we are, I believe, done now. 20 more, 20 more, 60, and then 100. Wow, they want me to make evolve my Gengar a lot. And that's fine, I'll do it. Thank you for the mass mounts. That's how you should have, guys, that's how it should have been, like, introduced. You should have just, like, flooded us with candies and energies. Anyways, that is done. The Halloween event is still obviously going on. And then obviously we still have this <laughs> Winter Gym. I don't know why I can't just, I didn't, apparently I don't care to do gym battles. I need to do three gym battles for that. But it'll be another minute before we uh, catch 40 ghost type and catch 49 Pokemon. So we're going to close it here for the evening and we're going to do a part two of this tomorrow. So a little longer spoopy episode for you. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in like two seconds tomorrow when we're going hunting again and hopefully to find Shane. See you tomorrow. All right, so day two shiny hunting for the Halloween event. We are dressed up as Ash. Best we can catch them today that. So we are 
done with some of our researches. We've got some uh, shiny checks here to do and some researches to claim. No shiny Voltorb. I believe the second one is another Voltorb shiny check. Oh, and then we did find another catch 18 dark type or ghost type. And this is a spear tomb. Can we get a shiny spear tomb, please? Oh, no, bummer. Dang it, 852. I think that's better than the last one. Anyways, those are done. Uh, investigated Mysterious Energy. This is like old, I believe. And I'm, I'm finally now moving on with this Victini Candies. Yeah, okay. And then we can move on to the next part of the Spooky Message Unmasked. Litwick 401. And then with that, we complete this. What do we get as our encounter? A... Ooh, a Galarian Yamask. That's really cool. Have not yet gotten to that, so obviously I didn't spoil myself. There we go. Cool Galarian Yamask. I don't really care much for it. Runner, runner Regress, but its evolution is very strange to me. I don't understand it. But there we go. 401. Eh, it'd be pretty decent for PvP. There we go. Galarian Yamask. That's the word. And with that, we complete that event. Dun dun dun. And more Yamas candies. Cool. Something with the number 49. So there is there something that with the number 49 with uh, uh, Runner Regress or whatever his name is? Anyways, that's done. Still got the Victini stuff to do. And we got plenty of shiny hunting for this evening. So let's go find some spooky, spooky ghosts and see if we can find some shiny. So we are finally home. Uh, the hunt for the evening is done. We picked up two more of those spirit tomb tasks. I'm like super amped, super excited. Like, come on. The, 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 okay, this is crooked. Is there even a change? Anyways, the, I would think the chances for a shiny spirit tomb would be like, whew, in my opinion, I've seen a lot of people get them. We have already encountered, let's see, uh, it's been two years. Uh, I think we have three, and then two, three already? Like, yo, okay. Okay, so we've seen seven, caught five. How have two gotten away? I mean, yeah, one of them has to be maybe a gym scene, but then still, how did one get away? Whatever, whatever, we have two chances. I'm like, come on, please. Let's get that Ludo luck back in the flow. Come on. Shiny Spear Tomb? Mm, no. And Shiny Spear Tomb. Yes! We got it! No way! And that other one was 885? That one might have been a hundo. Probably not a hundo, but still. Yes! Oh my gosh. I'm super happy. Are you super jealous? No. Come on, come on, get happy. Yeah! I like Shiny Spear Tomb way better than Spear Tomb itself. Of course, it looks super dope. Yes! Oh, wow. Yeah! 860, okay. Eh, not that bad, but hey, we got the Shiny. Holy crap! I can't believe that. I mean, I can, because it's right here and I wanted it, and I was like so determined that we were gonna get one. I'm just very happy. Sweet. Shiny Spirit Tomb, that's awesome. Okay, let's catch this 885 one. What was that? Please be a hundo. Oh, so close. 98. Hey, yo, you know what? I am super satisfied. A 98% Spirit Tomb and a frippin' Shiner one. That's some spooky shit. Oh my gosh, right now. What a Halloween adventure. Still like, what, eight more? There's still so many days of this left. I can't wait to do so much more.
Like, I will continue to find more of those tasks and see how many shiny spear tombs we can get. That'd be really cool. That'd be fun. Plenty of days. Anyways, that's it for that. Way super cool fun times. Shiny check? No. Really, that's like the best note to, to end it off there. Fun, super time, Halloween, super time, fun time, adventure time. Shiny Drifloon, Shiny Spiritomb, Shiny, uh, another Shiny Ghastly that we didn't need. The Gengar costume, ah, this, it, Halloween events are their best events, like I said. More to come, super excited, can't wait, probably gonna do some more costumes. I have so many costumes, we have so many costumes. So, you might see some more costumes. Stay tuned for that, we're gonna close it up here if you guys enjoyed the episode, which I really hope you did and would like more ways to help support the channel. Links to Patreon and merch are down in the description box below. While you're down there, another way to help give this video a like, maybe consider subscribing if you're not, and if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that we're notified of the next spoopy adventure. And we'll see you then the train time. Ah, 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 ah.